All right, guys, today we've got a follow-up review for Detroit Grooming. We've got the basic beard grooming kit. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel where we discuss tips and tricks for your beards. Uh, we do some product reviews and unboxings and we've got a beard advice series where you guys can send in some pictures to me to that email address you see below. I take a look at it for a couple weeks and then you get featured in your own video. So it's pretty cool. If you haven't checked that out, please do. We've done 30 episodes of that. Uh, but today we're doing a product review for Detroit Grooming. We've got the Basic Beard Grooming Kit. Uh, Mike from Detroit Grooming uh, sent this out to me along with their, their brand new um, beard wax stronghold, beard wax stronghold mustache wax. So I did a separate review on that since it's kind of a different uh, different category in this and it was kind of new. So I kind of wanted to separate that out. So check that video out if you're in, uh, interested in that. We've got this Detroit Grooming uh, basic beard grooming kit and in that kit comes four things. Uh, one of them, uh, three of the scents are in the black scent and that black scent is, let me make sure I'm getting it right, it's amber bourbon is the way it's advertised, but the, um, the it also says am, vetiver, amber, and cedar wood is what makes that scent up. So we've got it in the four ounce butter, we've got it in the one ounce uh, oil, which they call grooming oil, and then we've got it in the, uh, the black scent also in their shampoo, which they call beard poo shampoo. I don't know. That's for some reason that turns me off. Maybe I'm just an old fuddy duddy. But you put on your beard poo. Anyway, we won't we won't dwell on that. We will dwell on uh, the quality of these products, guys. The quality of these products is second to none. Uh, Detroit Grooming is one of the best in the industry. Uh, they've been around a long time. I think one of the first companies that I can recall to have the beard butter. So they're pretty much uh, one of the ones that started it and kind of had the beard butter movement on it. Uh, but this black scent, guys, is very nice. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because it was kind of advertised in some people kind of like a cologne-ish kind of thing. And it is that kind of, but for me, it's almost one of these perfect scents that kind of lives in between like a clean soapy scent and um, a cologne scent, barbershop scent, just pretty good, uh, a pretty good manly scent, right? And it's also not overpowering. It's not super strong. There's not a whole lot of bite or kick to it. So it's something that I could wear every single day. Uh, I could wear the beard butter every single night. It wouldn't be offensive uh, to me to put it on right before bedtime. It wouldn't distract me from sleep or any of that kind of stuff. So it's just a great, uh, well-rounded scent. Uh, it's not sweet. It doesn't have bite to it. It just kind of lives in a happy, happy medium place where, uh, to me, I think everybody needs that one in their, uh, uh, in their repertoire. Uh, on their beard shelf, if you will. So check out that black scent. Uh, so the beard butter is a four ounce. It's very smooth. One of the best butters on the market. It's pretty dense. Uh, so you could use it for a daytime butter if you wish. I think it does have some, oh boy, I think it does have some wax in it. Maybe it doesn't have beeswax. So we got sweet almond oil, sunflower seed oil, safflower seed oil, rice bran oil, apricot kernel oil, uh, avocado oil, wheat germ oil, beeswax, there we go, uh, unrefined shea butter, and coconut oil and fragrance and essential oil. So it does have a little bit of uh, wax in it, so this would be a good daytime butter. It also works for nighttime. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely a butter. It is not a balm or anything like that, but it could give you a little bit of hold there if you wish. Uh, and then they call their beard oil grooming oil because you can use it for, you know, lots of other things anywhere on your skin or you could actually use it to, uh, if you're shaving your cheek line or neckline or something like that as well. Um, so this one comes in the one ounce. I love the way this looks. Kind of looks like a little bottle of cologne. Uh, so very nice on it. The only thing I don't like on these is there's no dropper top or restrictor. I talked to Mike about that and he said uh, they've tried it with the dropper tops, but since they've got um, the oils in here can be acidic and it can eat away a little bit of some of the rubber on the uh, dropper tops and you don't want to see black flex uh, floating around in there but I would recommend though for them to to switch and go to the um, 
the little hard plastic restrictor. Uh, it's hard to be consistent on it and I found myself putting too much sometimes or you know putting a little bit putting a little bit more so I would like to see a little more control on that on the oils and I had an oil from them before in the uh, the half ounce more kind of like a sample even though it's a full half ounce and I thought okay this there's not one on here but there would be some kind of restrictor on the beard oil there wasn't all right uh, they also sent out in the pack was a half ounce of oil and this is a different scent this one is called Sturgis and when I read the profile I thought I was gonna love it but I didn't do it for me and I'll tell you why but it's uh, amber cardamom leather and bergamot and I thought the amber and the leather, that seemed to be good. The cardamom and bergamot, I wasn't so sure about. And it's one of these that's kind of got the, um, the bite to it. Okay, I've got some other scents that's got leather in it, uh, but it also has that extra bite. To me, it's got too much bite, too much sharpness to it. I would have liked to see a little bit more of something sweet to kind of balance that out a little bit. Uh, I didn't want it to be sweet. I know I don't want everything to be sweet, but for me, this just had too much bite. Uh, bite to it. I could probably mix it with a different kind of balm or butter or something that would be okay. But by itself, uh, and maybe it's because it's fresh, it's, it's kind of like it's got cedar in it. I don't know if you've had one that's had lots of cedar in it that's got that bite to it, or a colonish that's kind of got bite to it. To me, it kind of reminds me of that. So the stir just didn't do it for me. I really do like the black scent though. I think that one is uh, pretty smooth and could um, be something that almost every guy would like. Uh, the price on this, by the way, is $69.95. Um, if you bought all the stuff separately, it would be um, $83.80, so you're saving almost $14. By the way, they do sell on Amazon. I like it when companies sell on Amazon. Um, me personally, because I always ask for Amazon gift cards from people, um, so th that way I can go buy what I want, and sometimes that means buying some good quality products. Uh, some of their individual smaller items uh, are on Amazon Prime. This is not because of the pro how much it costs to ship this and to store it and that kind of stuff. Uh, through Amazon so um, but it is on Amazon if you're interested in that and please check out Detroit grooming uh, like I said they're one of the best in the business they've been around a long time I forgot to talk about the shampoo um, it says on it shake pump lather and rinse however they don't have the pumps on it anymore they switched to the um, uh, the pop top here because the, they found the pumps to be a little inconsistent sometimes you know some, th those things can get gummed up uh, pretty easily sometimes so they wanted to be make sure it was more consistent experience with their customers so now they've got the little flip pops pop tops on it uh, this one cleans your beard it doesn't um, lather a ton I've had somewhere I'll put like a couple drops and it just lathers everywhere so this one doesn't lather a ton it's kind of medium on the lather um, it's also kind of medium on how much it strips your beard I would say on a zero to five scale we're five stripping everything out zero is no strip this is probably about a two so it cleans your beard uh, you, it does feel clean when you get finished but it doesn't feel totally stripped uh, so this is one that could almost be a daily wash you could almost get away with not using a co-wash conditioner after it but for me I, I i think i would kind of prefer to go ahead and use a co-wash afterward to soften my beard up a little bit more uh, but it works really good it's got um, uh, the second ingredient after water is coconut oil so it really kind of coats everything makes it feel really good all right so that is the uh, beard wash or or the beard poo shampoo if you will uh, but overall, great products, great company. They've got a couple of different of these packs. Uh, this one featured the black uh, scent, and then you got a sample of something else in the half ounce uh, of the Sturgis. I think they've got two or three more uh, where the, the scent is different, the main scent. So you got a couple different combinations there to try. So make sure you check them out, Detroit Grooming. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video.